I'm interested at the moment with IonQ, for example, quantum computing company. How are you seeing the commercialization opportunities of generative AI within the companies that you help, well, oversee? Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's coming faster and it's closer than everyone thought when you're talking about quantum machine learning uh, and quantum computing you know, intersecting with artificial intelligence and machine vision. Um, you know, you're seeing it across, frankly, every sector, right? From drug discovery to making next generation batteries to the gaming industry, um, to even uh, businesses like the Futurum Group that are taking advantage of, of AI across their own market research uh, and advisory. Um, I think quantum advantage is gonna happen sooner than people think, and it's gonna surprise a lot of people. Um, I think you're gonna see uh, quantum supremacy also come earlier than people think uh, in a number of application areas in the next few years. Uh, and I've been excited to watch the, the breadth of my portfolio have an early lead in their respective segments, right? I'm quite proud of the fact that we invested early on every, every board I'm on, every company I'm involved with, and they really are leaders in the respective areas, increasingly partnering with cloud players, Amazon, right. Microsoft, Google, hyperscalers. And a lot of uh, what I see a lot of is the strong partnering with the strong, right? Whether that's NVIDIA with Amazon, INQ with Amazon, Microsoft, Google. And I feel like the strongest companies in AI are actually entrenching their leads right now. Hey, Nicola, real quick though, lots of emphasis on, on the top line revenue, right? People making money. But the lesson learned has been the compute costs are astronomical. How worried are you about sort of long term anyone actually making any profit from all of the R&D and the training and inference they're now doing? Well, quantum computing is actually a solution to that, right? In terms of energy usage per, let's call it calculation or, or clock tick, right? If you look at INQs, quantum computers, they're tiny. They don't use a lot of power compared to something that, you know, a national lab is running, right? Um, and so I'm actually quite bullish that by, by 2030, quantum AI through the cloud is going to change people's perspective on that question you just asked. Um, but at the moment, you're correct. There is a race on that no industry and no company can afford to lose, right? If you're a financial services firm, your prop trading arm is not going to make any money if you don't have the latest quantum computer and the latest AI helping your team. Same in drug discovery, same in you know, defense and aerospace, same in cryptography. Um, and so I think people right now you know, have no choice. And that means the vendor supplier relationships, the kinds of companies the Futurum Group's always advising uh, are really front and center right now having to think through where they put their dollars to make sure they max it out you know, quarter in, quarter out.